I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Thank you guys so much for 500,000 Cub Scouts. That means the world to me. That means you guys saw a particular video. You decided it was good enough for you to take a chance and be like, you know what? I'm going to give this fuckboy a chance. Click subscribe. And boom. You guys decided that you were committed to the Cub Scouts. And I can't even thank you guys enough. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm probably going to be stumbling all over this video because I don't even know what to say. Um, obviously... You know, I want to thank you guys for even just taking a chance on the channel in the first place because, you know, we started a year and a half ago. I never expected any of this to happen. I was like, you know, where's this channel going to go? What are we going to do? And like a lot of you guys might not know, but I got two community strikes on my old channel back then and I almost wanted to quit doing YouTube altogether. But I'm so glad that I stuck to my guns and I decided, you know, I can bring a lot to the gaming community here. Um, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep going. I don't care if I got strikes on my old channel. I'm gonna make a new one. It's gonna be even bigger and better than before. And the Cub Scouts that you're subscribed to right now, the video that you're watching right now, this channel is the second channel that I made. And I couldn't even be more proud of everything that's happened. Like, I have no regrets about what's happened. And I know people are gonna be like, nah, regrets. <laughs> but I have no regrets about what happened. Um, if you guys don't know the story, I started the channel with Nini, she's my girlfriend, if you guys don't know, um, in September of 2014. She's the one who actually came up with the name Cub Scouts, and I was like, alright, we're gonna be the Cub Scouts, we're gonna roll with it, it that's an awesome name, Cubs is also the nickname of the dog that we have, and I was like, let's do it, I love calling ourselves the Cub Scouts. So we made the Cub Scouts channel, and I actually wanna show you guys the very first video that I made, because I didn't know what to make, I love basketball, I love playing basketball, I love watching basketball. I love playing basketball games. And this is the very first video that I made. Look at this face. Look at this fuckboy face. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm looking at the camera because I didn't know if it was recording or not. All right, let's watch this real quick. I'm going to turn the volume in my headphones. Let's see what I have to say. When NBA 2K14 came out on the next-gen consoles, I thought it was amazing. And look at this shit. I have a stain on my shirt. Be professional, Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? And look at my face. This is what YouTube does to you guys. It makes you fatter because, you know, you have to devote your time and energy to all this. I used to go to the gym all the time. Now, I still go all the time, but I also eat a lot because I'm always editing videos. So I'm always eating, like, candy and stuff like that while I'm editing. But anyway, let's continue. From the realistic graphics to the silky smooth gameplay, I hadn't thought I'd play anything better since 2K11. But I quickly found out that looks aren't always everything. And that there is some shit underneath all this gold that 2K's been putting out lately. <laughs> and I'm still making jokes. I said there's still shit underneath all this gold that 2K's been putting out. I'm making jokes all day, even when I first started my channel. But look at this face. The hell is that face? I don't know what that face is, but I know that's the face of a sex god. And I'm still looking at the viewfinder. I was still looking at the viewfinder back then. That is one of the habits that I learned to fix. I, I used to look at the viewfinder like this. Like, when I was commenting, I used to talk like this. Like, in the, in the viewfinder. <laughs> oh, but that's my very first video. That is when I popped my YouTube cherry. It got 2,455 views. Someone disliked it, asshole. <laughs> and then this guy said, 100% cool. Thanks, Brad Tech. You're 100% cool. And this person said, this is how the J YouTube legend was born. <laughs> is this the first official YouTube video of the Cub Scouts? Yes, it is. This video was and is the start of something big. Well, thanks, Ivan. I really appreciate that. Yeah, that was my very first video, but that wasn't my first gaming video. My first gaming video was a game called PT. PT was a demo of an uh, upcoming Silent Hills game before it was completely just... Pfft, like, it stopped production because of things that happened within the company. But um, it was the first video that I played where Nini was in the video with me. And I was actually playing a video game, so let's take a look at that. I'm looking at the camera. And, uh, she's never I'm doing good. It, but I know that you go from room to room, and so and my editing was actually pretty good. Started off playing. Like the the cuts from game to me were cool. Though, we're just look at me trying to flex my baby ass room muscles room though. Room what the play. fuck, Jay? So let's turn the lights off and get this game started. Let's turn the lights off and get freaky, ladies and gentlemen. Oh right, my guys. god, poor Let's ass lighting. Oh, and I want to tell you guys something. Game, the so. sound quality was so I gross. I'm going to pause this real quick. The sound quality was so bad because when we first started out, we had a $10 microphone. And this is a tip 
or just a, a something, an example for all you guys who are aspiring YouTubers that think you need a lot of money to start things out when you first start a channel. You don't need anything, okay? You just need some charisma, some balls for you to grab because you're like, let's do this! You just need that, and you just need to work hard. What we had, we had a $10 microphone, a $10 PC headset. It was shitty as all shit. And without a, a cover to muffle out, like, like, noise, like, you're like, <laughs> like, we didn't have that. So, what I did, I just, uh, I can't even find, like, a random sock. But we had a sock. We put it on the thing, and I didn't want it to be in the view of the camera because it was, like, this high. So I kept lowering it, and I kept looking in the viewfinder like this. I was like, okay. All right, it's out of camera view. Boom, bingo. Like, I kept looking in the viewfinder. And um, so we had <laughs> a $10 headset with a sock on it, and uh, you guys can't see it because I put out the camera view. But look at the lighting in here. It's so crappy. And can I increase the quality? Uh, to 720. Okay, I still do 720 right now. And, uh, I keep looking in the camera for some reason. I don't know why. I still do that from time to time, actually. It's real. But I've, uh, developed the habit of not trying to look in there. Let me skip a little bit. Let me see if there's anything good in here. Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, my God. He said, Nini said, I heard the dirt dirt. Hold up. I was putting subtitles back then, too. I heard the door I heard the door door. Oh, fucking Jay making jokes. I love it. So, yeah. We had to switch off. I remember because um, Nini was too scared to play it. Oh, shit. I think I'm scared of this, too. Damn, that other door just opened. I heard it. Oh, this game is still scary, even after all this time. Oh, oh shit. Damn, roaches. <laughs> Damn, I'm a G. I'm a gangster. Oh, I hear somebody in the bathroom. Oh, like somebody's moaning. <laughs> no, it's a kid. It's a kid. It's a kid. It's a kid moaning. <laughs> Damn, I remember I was so scared of this part. I did not I'm want to, to even go close to the bathroom. That's why I went all the way in the back. Oh, that sounds creepy as fuck. Okay, so that was the very first game where I played with a face cam, and I was actually playing a game. That was the very first gameplay video that I had. So out of the blue, I decided to play this game called Day Ariane, which is one of the big reasons why the channel just went shoo! Like, people started pouring in, and people started watching the video. This is actually the only Day Ariane video that I have on YouTube because it's completely censored, and there's nothing like that could get it age restricted or whatever and that's the only reason why i have it on the channel this is on my backup account by the way um the first channel that i started out with and i want to tell you guys something about this remember earlier in this video i said that i got two strikes and i almost got the channel taken down i think i said that i don't remember but i had two strikes in the channel and one more strike i was about to get uh the channel taken down because of this game this is the reason why my channel almost got taken down and the reason why I almost gave up in general. So I decided that, hey, I'm going to stop playing this game because it's not good for my channel. I want to grow. I know people are going to be disappointed that I'm going to have to stop the series, but I have to do what's best for me. And so I made a video. I don't have that video up anymore because I deleted that video as well. Um, it was called I'm Stopping Dating Sim Games and uh, people were pissed off. Um, we were at like 15,000 Cub Scouts at the time and a few thousand people unsubscribed and it hurt. I was telling Nini, I was like, you know, that really hurts because, uh, I put a lot of time and effort into those videos. I thought people were subscribed to the channel because of the humor, because of the editing style, because of the jokes that I make, but people were just subscribed because of one type of game and, uh, that really hurt me. Um, I, I wanted to give up. I told Nini, I was like, I don't know if I should do this thing. It's not for me. And, uh, yeah, I was really thinking about just shutting down the channel completely. I already had two strikes. I was like, fuck it. Might as well just stop. I can't even make thumbnails anymore. I can't even upload videos over 15 minutes. That's why if you check the backups account, a lot of the videos don't have thumbnails. A lot of them aren't over 15 minutes long because the strikes were completely destroying my channel. Like, I couldn't do anything that was creative at all or make longer videos or anything like that. So after a few thousand people unsubscribed and the channel was pretty much just pfft, like nobody wanted to watch anything anymore if I didn't have uh, dating games there, I decided to make another channel.
uh, the channel that you guys see now, the channel that you guys are subscribed to right now, um, I said, hey guys, I'm going to be uploading my videos onto this channel because I can make thumbnails. I can make videos that are longer than 15 minutes long. I can do this and that. And not many people <laughs> went to the channel. Uh, I would say less than 200. So basically, we started this channel that you're on right now in November because that's when I started uploading videos onto this channel. Um, I uploaded some GTA videos. Uh, I uploaded... Let me actually check. Yeah, I uploaded GTA. I uploaded some RPG horror maker games. I uploaded this game called The Love Letter that has over 121,000 views. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, and check this out. I uploaded Yandere Simulator on May 2nd. It's almost been a year. Let me take a look at this. It has 199,000 views. All right, it's called I Will Kill For Your Love. Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck about the sponsors. <laughs> hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. And here I have a girl who's spazzing the fuck out for some weird reason. With a game called Yandere, Yandere, Yandere. You know what? I don't know what it's called. You, you know, I honestly didn't know how to pronounce that. I have never heard of the word yandere before. So at that point, I was like, is it yandere, yandere, yandere? Like, I was wondering what it was. Because a lot of people think that I am a big anime fan. Um, and I know a lot of, like, anime or, like, yandere types and stuff like that. I knew nothing about any of that before. And this is the very first game where I was like, okay, the title of the thing is kind of weird. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I decided that I was just going to um I was just going to just wing it and then try to pronounce it while I'm recording. So let's continue. You guys know what it's called? You, you know more about this stuff than I do. I think it's called Yandere Yandere Simulator. Um and then right there it just panned to a girl doing some weird shit. I think she killed a whole bunch of people. My computer is slower than an old man with two broken legs, but let's try to do this anyway. Let's do it. Okay. Um okay, yeah, guys, I'm not gonna play the video. Uh, if you guys wanna watch it, a lot of you guys have watched it already, but um that was my very first video of Yandere Simulator. A uh, series that is by far the most popular series on the channel right now. And I couldn't even be more proud. Like with the dating sim games, I wasn't that proud of myself. Because, you know, a lot of people said, oh, they can't watch this. Or, you know, I showed my mom the video and she was kind of just like, oh, uh, like of those dating sim games. But this game, I am extremely proud of it because there's no nudity, no sex. Uh, it's basically a stealth slash killing game that is presented to people as like a love game where you're trying to get your senpai but in reality it's actually a stealth game where you're killing people and um i enjoyed playing this game a lot this video was only five minutes and 50 seconds long but i enjoyed every single second of me playing this game and i was like okay i am gonna keep this series going on this channel because i actually found a game that i enjoy and that the people that are watching enjoy and so my next few videos were all Yandere Simulator. Senpai has a small D. Things get weird as hell. Poisoning hoes and kidnapping. Those are all, they were all Yandere Simulator in a row and people seem to like that. And then I uploaded Kitty Powers Matchmaker, which I thought was pretty funny, but I didn't really want to play it that much. It was a dating sim game too, but it was more like a funny version. And then I have another Yandere Simulator one from the June 16 update. And then I just played a whole bunch of other games. And then people really liked it when I played Akinator. They really enjoyed it when I was uh, answering the questions, but I was also talking shit to the Akinator. And people really liked that series. They always wanted more of that. And then in July of 2015, I have what you guys know now as 60 Seconds. I called it 60 Seconds Apocalypse Survival. It is by far the second most popular series on the channel that's still going to this day. I love this game. It is one of my favorite games to play. I'm so glad I found it. I don't remember how I found it. I just remember asking Nini if I should play it. And she was like, yeah, I think, you know, I think people will really like seeing you play 60 Seconds. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> so we bought it for 10 bucks and uh, we tried it out. People were giving me tips in the comments, and I took those to heart. And I was like, okay, next episode is going to be even bigger and better than before. And then in the second episode, I actually got Mary Jane. And let me see if I can find the part where I got Mary Jane to become a mutant. 
Okay, guys, I found the part where I saw mutant Mary Jane for the first time, and let's see how that goes. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back, and they are bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on these spiders. What, kill them with a Boy Scout book? All right, whatever. <laughs> and I didn't have a face cam. <laughs> and I got an achievement. Day 24. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck, Mary Jane? <laughs> Let's do it like Barney's like female lover. What is this? <laughs> but yeah, we always do. Anyway, the fact that I had mutant Mary Jane as my thumbnail in that video caused a lot of traffic because a lot of people didn't get mutant Mary Jane before, and a lot of people were like, "Oh, so that's how you get mutant Mary Jane." And I was just really excited to get her. And then people were telling me to keep playing more of this game, and I was just, I was just really excited. All right, like I, I was a big fan of uh, this game. And I'm so glad that, you know, you guys are enjoying it as well. Yandere Simulator and 60 Seconds are two series that I absolutely love having on the channel. I take pride in each of those videos that I make. And I'm really glad that you guys like that. But let's see what else I had back then on the channel so we could see what it was. I had another dating sim, John Cena dating sim. And then I started a game called Catherine. It didn't have that many people watching it, but I mean, 26,000 is a lot to me. That's a lot to me. I don't know if it's a lot to you guys. But then again, I never really care about um, high view counts or whatever. I just like playing games that I enjoy. I really loved playing the game Catherine because um, I liked the style of it. I just liked um, the way it was, like story-wise, and the fact that you the character was really cool. And the reason why I bring up Catherine is because it introduced me to my favorite game of all time, Persona 4. Persona 4. This game is my favorite game of all time. And I'm actually going to take a look at the very first episode because this is the start of where I fell in love with this game. Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. And my camera and is very off center. I'm to bring to you a game that I've been wanting to play. Same creators as Catherine, they are called Atlas. This is called Persona 4, and I am so ready to play it. I don't even want to talk anymore. Let's just press any button like it's asking us to and start the damn game. So everybody sit down, relax, and enjoy some Persona 4. Before oh you my begin God. the story, it's making me emotional. A level in battle. <laughs> Normal, uh, this is the start of something great, man. Well, Z Catherine, was born. our pullout game was super strong. I know the game isn't exactly like that. Like, but all we're right, just gonna I'm going to pause this real quick. I didn't want to play this game, Persona 4. There's a reason why. Because I think a few years ago, I can't remember, um, there was like this controversy about this game, and I saw it online. It was uh, this company, some kind of like Russian company or something like that. They were claiming the soundtracks to Persona 4. And as you guys know, or if you guys didn't know, Persona 4 and Persona 3 have some of the most amazing music in there. Like... I can't even begin to tell you how addicting the music is in this game. But, um, yeah, some company was claiming the music. Some channels got terminated, but thank God they got put back. And, uh, yeah, it was, like, something that was going on. And I was trying to see if it was over, like, if they stopped claiming the videos. And I never really got a clear answer. But I was like, you know what? I enjoyed Catherine so much. I enjoyed the company that made it Atlas that I was like, okay, I'm going to try this game, Persona 4. And one of the best decisions I've ever made on the channel. Yeah, it's not the most popular series, but I honestly loved every single second of it. And if you guys are interested in the true ending, I did say I was going to get the true ending. Once I finish Persona 3, I'm going to get the true ending of Persona 4 right before Persona 5 comes out. So if you guys are still looking forward to the true ending of Persona 4, just know that it's still in my mind. And I'm going to do it once Persona 3 ends. And oh, oh, I want to talk about this real quick. This Cub Scout's best moments montage. Okay, so a week or so before I made this montage, people were telling me that PewDiePie was having a shout out. He was having a shout out competition and um, they wanted me to enter it because they said I deserve, you know, way more attention than what I was getting. At this point, we were probably at around... I'd want to say less than 30,000 of you guys that were subscribed to the channel. And people were telling me, you know, you should enter this contest. You know, I believe that you can win. And I was like, you know what? I might as well. You know, you don't know until you try. So I made the Cub Scouts montage and I was really proud of it. And it has a lot. It has over 143,000 views. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, watched it. They liked it. I uploaded it at 6.52 a.m. Because I wanted to enter that competition. And um, I wanted to enter it 
like as soon as I could because you know he was getting a lot of entries so I submitted the best moments montage everyone was telling me you know good luck and stuff like that and then he came out with a video earlier this year and you know we weren't there but honestly I feel like that was the best thing that could happen uh, that we didn't get chosen because I know with that becomes a lot of people saying oh you know you didn't deserve that or you know you're stupid or you're whack and stuff like that so I feel like it was the best for both worlds and at that point the channel was already growing on its own we had already three over 300,000 of you guys and and when I entered the competition it was nowhere near that so I feel like that was the best thing that could happen and this game this motherfucking game is where it spawned one of the more famous uh, thumbnails that I have on the channel, Babysitter Bloodbath. It's the thumbnail where I have my mouth open like this, like, uh, and then my eyes are going both directions. Um, somebody actually asked if I could actually make my eyes do that. Hell no. That's a Photoshop, a very bad Photoshop. <laughs> and um, yeah. And this is where the 60 seconds challenges began. No Boy Scout book. I remember that I would always um, bring the Boy Scout book and use it like nobody's business. I would be whoring the shit out of that Boy Scout book. And people in the comments were like, hey, try to get an ending without using the Boy Scout book. And I was like, all right, motherfuckers, I will. <laughs> and so I tried the challenge and then people liked it. So I decided to do more challenges. And then I had the reading comment series and the papers please series and Persona 3. All of those are great series on the channel. Slime Rancher is a popular series on the channel. Those are all great series on the channel, and that's what I want to bring up. The fact that I don't have to be a one-trick pony to entertain you guys, just like I did on my old channel where all I would play is dating sim games, and people were making me feel really bad when I didn't play dating sim games. Like, oh, the only funny games that you make are dating sim games like stop playing these other games like i was playing like rpg horror maker games and i was playing grocery scanning simulator and like towel giving it to old guys simulator I, like i don't even remember the games that i was playing but i thought i was pretty funny and entertaining in those videos but people were making me feel really bad on the old channel that the only videos that i made worth watching is uh you know dating sim games and this channel Yandere Simulator is by far the most popular series on the channel, but I am proud of that. I am proud of that game. I love playing that game. I'm going to continue to keep playing that game. <laughs> and um, 60 Seconds is a very popular channel as well. Like, one of the challenges, the 7 Deadly Sins Challenge has uh, 3 quarters of a million views. That is amazing. And other videos of 60 Seconds have over half a million views as well. So, I consider that to be amazing. Um amazing just support on a series too so yandere and 60 seconds are by far the series that have the most support from you guys but also papers please averages over a hundred thousand views and a lot of you guys love that series too reading comments is one that came along slowly but you guys love that series too like i take so much pride in the fact that you guys enjoy these videos that it just makes me feel really good because you know, like I said before, at one point, I just wanted to quit. I, I didn't want to do this anymore because, you know, people were just saying, oh, if you're not making dating sim games, then I'm not even going to watch. And the fact that I can have six, seven series that you guys all love, I just, I just can't thank you guys enough. I really can't thank you guys enough. Um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for showing so much support on all the series. Like, Persona 4 and Persona 3 are older games. They came out a long time ago. But you guys still watch that series. And you guys still support me. And, you know, I can't blame you guys if, if that's not ty your type of game. But I love playing that game. And the fact that there's still a lot of people that are watching that series. <sighs> you know, you can't ask for more. Because from my mentality and what I was thinking a year ago and till now, um, it's just mind-blowing. And the fact that there's half a million of you guys now and we're continuing to grow and i'm feeling more creative than ever like my creativity is through the roof right now i'm so motivated every time i see a comment from you guys you know telling me you know this is so funny like you made my day better like i was sad but when i see your videos i'm happy again that makes me feel good because you guys are the reason why i want to make these videos like, I love playing the video games. That's my number one priority. I have to love the games that I play. But second, I want to be there for the people 
that aren't hanging out with their friends, that are at home, that are bored, that are sad, that need someone to cheer them up. I want to be that person. I want the Cub Scouts channel to be the channel where you guys know that you're going to be entertained. Whether it be a new video that I came out with or a video that you watched that I made a long time ago that still makes you laugh to this day. I take pride in that. And I, I just don't even know what to say right now because it's overwhelming the fact that there's so much support and um, I never expected it to become what it is right now and uh, man and it's funny some people tell me you know not to change as the channel gets bigger I know myself um, I know that things will never change never change because I'm not that type of person I'm not here to be famous I'm not here to be the next big thing I'm just here to make the best videos that I can make and the fact that you guys enjoy that that makes me want to make even better videos because um that's one thing i do focus on i don't focus on how many subscribers the channel has i focus more on the fact that you guys are having as much fun as i am having playing the game that's what i'm focused on and uh, the proof is in the pudding you guys show a lot of support for the series that i'm doing and i'm going to continue to play the games i love and i'm going to continue to make the best videos that i can and i didn't want to make this video too long uh, I just wanted to thank you guys, maybe take you guys on a little journey, let you guys know a little bit about, you know, the Cub Scouts history and stuff like that. But this is the year, guys. This is the year where the Cub Scouts community is going to be considered one of the best communities out there. I already consider it one of the best because, yeah, there are a few bad apples in the group, but it's not even in comparison as to how many people are so nice to other people. Like, uh, someone tweeted at me that they met a friend because they both watch the channel Cub Scouts and I was like that is so cool like that's amazing and a lot of people are always talking in the comments being helpful to each other a lot of you know some arguments but I mean that that's normal I mean you got to expect that on YouTube but I consider this community to be one of the best and I absolutely love it so this is the year guys this is the year that we can pat ourselves on the back and uh, Cub Scouts will be a name that people will know this year and I'm really excited to go on this journey I'm motivated through the roof, guys. The creativity is just pouring out of me. Like, every day I wake up, turn on the computer, and I'm like, let's do this shit. And that's the kind of mentality that I have, and that's the kind of mentality that you guys should have if you're an aspiring YouTuber yourself. But like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. Just know that the best is yet to come. So many great things are on the way this year. A lot of games are coming out that I want to play. And a lot of games that I'm currently playing are going to be continued in the series. So stay tuned for everything that's going on. Thank you all so much for half a million Cub Scouts. You guys are awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more awesome videos in the future, please give this video a like. And make sure you tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!